Hey girls, okay, so today's video is going to be a tagged TMI. I know there's a million of them. Ah, here's another one today. Um, there is a lot of questions, so I'm just going to like hop right into it, I guess. I'm wearing a button-down kind of shirt from, uh, I want to see, Ab Abercrombie? Yeah, the mousse. So, Abercrombie is the mousse. Yeah, it's just a really soft shirt um, that I got from there. And then, I, like if you see, it has buttons and stuff like that. And then I'm wearing leggings because I always wear leggings. And I'm not wearing any socks because I'm at home. And I don't need socks at home. I love being in love, so yes, I have been in love because being in love is like the best feeling ever. It's like warm and cozy and just, uh, you know, like why wouldn't you want to be in love? It feels amazing. If you haven't been through it, go check it out. It's a good time. I am 5'2". I weigh like 115 to 120 pounds. I do fluctuate often. Like, I have jeans that are size 2 and then I have jeans that are size 4. So, I mean, I don't know. It's so weird how much my weight fluctuates. It just, it's really weird. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. Let me know if you guys know if that's normal or not because I don't know. I have always wanted one, you know, but then I was like, oh my god, what if I wear a dress and it doesn't look feminine and I don't want it to be exposed and what if I get something I don't like, you know, a few years later. I'm very indecisive, so I never fully, like, committed to it and, yeah, no tattoos. I only have two piercings on my ears because, I don't know, I just never wanted them anywhere else. I don't know. I'm not a fan of piercings anywhere else but your ears. Just saying. No offense if you do. Just not on me. Is all I'm saying. Okay, a lot of people don't know what OTP means, and I believe it's one true pairing. And my one true pairing for me would be Noah and Allie from The Notebook because, oh my gosh, if you guys have seen The Notebook, then you understand. I have seen that movie a bajillion times, and I just love their love. Like, if you want to be in love, that's the kind of love you want, you know what I mean? Like, they loved each other so much. Noah and Allie in real life are Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, and they really were, like, dating, so it felt kind of real, is all I'm saying. My favorite shows are um, The Housewives, um, any city of The Housewives. I just love those girls' drama. I mean... They're just, like, so extravagant in their dramas. Like, they'll have, like, a dramatic situation, and, like, they're all out to dinner in their fancy, like, gowns and dresses and, like, throwing drinks on each other or arguing and getting each other. Like, it's just crazy, the crap that goes on in their show. So, love The Housewives. And I also like Total Divas because I love my tough girls. My favorite band when I was younger was Danny Kane. I first started listening to them when I first started driving, so I used to like bump it when they had the Dollhouse CD. I was like all about them. Like those are my, I loved Aubrey. Like I just loved them so much. And then I have another band, Aventura. If I've mentioned it on my channel a few times. I love that band. It is the best bachata band out there. Um, for all my Spanish girls out there, you know who Aventura is because they're just so famous and just amazing and it really makes me think of like family parties and dancing. They are like the in sync of like the Spanish world, so love them. I miss driving. Oh my gosh, I miss driving so much. But I'm so happy to say that I'm going to be getting a car probably like next week, if anything. So I'm finally going to start driving. I haven't driven in like a year, but I haven't had an actual car since my car accident, which I've mentioned several times on my channel. I was in a really bad car accident, and I haven't had a car since. And it's been a really long time, so I can't wait to drive. I miss it so much. The freedom you get when you're driving is just like... Ugh, I can do anything, you know what I mean? Like, if you haven't driven and you've taken, like, public transportation, you know the pain I feel. Okay, so my favorite song. How can you really choose a favorite song? That's like asking who your favorite child is. I don't have a favorite song. I love so many. It's so hard to choose. I'm not going to do that because 
I just like the money. Um, 25. Okay, I am a Scorpio. And whenever I tell somebody I'm a Scorpio, they look at me like, Ugh. I'm like, damn, like, do I have a bad rep out there, Scorpios? I, I don't know. I think we're pretty cool. I like other Scorpios. I don't see what the issue is, but people were like, ah, oh, Scorpio. I'm like, what did I do? What are you bad Scorpios out there doing it to us? We're a little crazy, but we're pretty cool, I like to think. I like to look for, like, friendship. Now, I will never date a friend, but I would like my man to be my best friend. I would like to be able to talk to him about everything. I want to laugh. I want to do things together. Like, I like to have that friendship with the significant other if I'm dating them or not because I want to be able to stand them for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? My favorite quote comes, of course, from the No Book movie, and it is um, from Noah when he's, like, basically putting the doctor in his place after the doctor's like, uh, yeah, she's not gonna remember shit, and he's like, uh, medicine only goes so far, and then comes God. So, I thought that was so great that he was like, medicine only goes so far, and that, or science only goes so far. Was it science or medicine? <gasps> I don't know. I think it was science. Science only goes so far, and then comes God. And I just, I'm not super religious, but I'm Catholic. So I, I just really like that thing. I really feel like that. That is the straight truth. Oh my gosh, my boo! Mark Wahlberg. I love him so much. He's like my best. Like, oh, I just want to marry that man. If I saw him today, I will die. Boom. Like, straight up die. Love that man. If you don't like Mark Wahlberg... Go kill yourself. No, I'm just, just joking. Just joking. Sorry. Don't be offended. My favorite color is black. Um, I love black. Black goes with everything. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't like black? And some of you guys might say black isn't a color, but it's a color to me. You know, when I wear clothes, I wear black clothes. Black is such a slimming color. Like, forget it. Black is awesome. Black, black, black. Blackity black. I like to listen to, like, loud music when I'm, like, you know, cleaning or when I'm getting ready to, like, go out or uh, if I am out, like, out at a lounge or a party or something. But if I'm at home and I'm sad, I like to listen to, like, slow, soft music and then I get all depressed and maybe that's not a good thing. So maybe I should cut that out. Maybe I should just listen to loud music so I just get pumped. anywhere when I'm sad I just like to hold Sophie when I'm sad so if Sophie's in my arms and I'm sad all that sadness will completely go away like I am the happiest person in the world when she's in my arms she makes everything better and she's so innocent and cute it's like how could you stay sad when you have that little face in your arms like 15 or 20 minutes because my shower gets hot in like 15 or 20 minutes and then on top of that I got Sophie yelling at me to get out the shower so my showers are not relaxing they're like ah you know I have to like do everything like really quick so 15 20 minutes but if I go to my dad's house in New York then I take like 30 minutes because that shower stays hot and it's a great shower like the shower head gives you so much pressure so I just I love that shower I love it. I don't really, like, do this whole get-up that much. Like, I just kind of throw a lip gloss on, a little mascara, and run out the door with Sophie. So I take, like, probably 15, 20 minutes with her. But I'm getting myself ready and herself ready. Um, but if I'm going out somewhere, it probably takes me, like, an hour and a half to two hours to get ready. Because I have to straighten my hair, I have to do my makeup, and then I have to get Sophie ready, too. So it takes a little bit of time. If I tell you guys, will you judge me? Yes, I have. I've been in a fight. My turn on is shoulders. I love a man with shoulders. If you have a little shoulders, you got me. Hook, line, and sinker. I'm just like, 
a hot mess if I see a good set of shoulders. You know, other people, it's like, oh, I like his smile, if he has nice eyes. I'd be like, woo! That man over there has a nice set of shoulders. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I, I look at guy's shoulders. Ugh. I hate when guys bite their nails. Ugh. Why do you do that? Don't touch me with those nubs. Disgusting. I hate, I hate nubs. Don't try to touch my hair with your nubs. Don't try to touch my face with your nubs. Keep those nubs away from me. I hate when men bite their nails. Like, oh, don't bite your nails. Just don't do it. It's a bad habit. A lot of everything that I do is for my daughter, so I wanted to have something for myself. And I love YouTube. I feel like it's such a great way to kind of express my creativity and that kind of stuff. And also talk to other girls about things that I love, like beauty, you know. It's something that I chose for a career choice, and I just love kind of conversating with you guys about it. So, I love you guys. I'm scared of you know, death. <laughs> death is scary. Like, who wants to die, you know? <laughs> it's so funny. I haven't cried in a while, but I actually was just talking to my older sister, and we had, like, a serious heart-to-heart, -heart, and I cried. I did. I'm a crier. I cry all the time. It's kind of annoying. I know people hate it, but I can't help it. I just feel it building up. It's like a something in the back of your throat. And you're like, ah. <laughs> you know, but at least I'm like, sometimes I'm like a pretty crier, but then sometimes I'm like, ah, you know, like a hot mess crier. And today was a pretty cry because my makeup stayed. Ooh -ooh. I tell Sophie I love her every single second of the day. Because I love her, and I just want her to know how much I love her. And I want her to say it back to me, because it feels good. It feels good when she says, I love you, Mommy. I'm like, meh, I love you too, Pookie. I mentioned this before on my channel. My my nickname is Juju Beans from my family, so I wanted to be called something that I'm already called. And it was hard to just use something Juju. Like, I'm either Juju or Juju Beans, but Juju Beans is, like, my mom's favorite candy from when, like, she was younger or from back in the day. They have Mike and Ike's now, but she used to love Juju Beans then. I don't know, they just call me Juju Beans. So, why not have my name like that? You know what I'm saying? The last book I read was a Nicholas Sparks book, and I can't remember the name, but I'll put it somewhere in this box, but it was a good book. All his books are very similar. They're always like those love stories that you're like, oh my gosh, you know, like devastated but happy at the same time, but this one ended sad, so I don't know. I was pretty sad about it. I'll put it in this box somewhere. You'll know. Read it. It's good. I'm not currently reading a book, so this YouTube thing, it takes up a lot of free time. Like, if I have free time, I'm, on, I'm trying to record a video or do YouTube or come up with new ideas to do videos. So, where I used to read books, I now substitute that with YouTube. <laughs> I was watching before um, Dora the Explorer with Sophie, so no judgment. If you have a two-year-old, Dora is a savior, let me tell you. That girl knows what she's talking about. The last person I talked to was Gia, and she called me. She's not, we're in the same house, but the house is so big that she's, like, really far from where I'm at. And we just call each other in this house because you can't hear when someone calls you. Oh, it's actually um, one of my friends from when I was younger. Oh, my gosh, my favorite food. Oh is definitely wings. Anyone who knows me knows that wings is my thing. I do love all different types of foods, but I literally could live off of wings. I could eat it for breakfast. I could eat it for lunch. I could eat it for dinner, a midnight snack. I love crispy, tangy, saucy, juicy wings. Like, ugh, I love wings. Like, love them so much. <laughs> 
I want to visit Dominican Republic because I am 100% Dominican, even though I don't look it. Everyone thinks I'm like Italian or Puerto Rican, but I'm not. I'm Dominican, and I always wanted to go to my country because... You know, it's so beautiful. If you've ever seen pictures of DR, it's just so tropical and blue and crisp and fresh. And uh, I just want to go there so bad. The last place I was, probably other than where I'm at right now, is um, I do go to my father's house in New York once a month at least to go see them and my family and stuff. So the last place I was was definitely New York at my father's house. So I can hang out with my sisters and my fans. My fansies. No, I don't have a crush because like I said, I don't really go anywhere. So who am I going to really like if I don't go anywhere? You know? I kiss Sophie every single second of the day. Those cheeks, like, call my name. They're like, kiss me. And I'm like, ah. You know, like, I kiss that girl a million times a day. So she's definitely the last person I kissed. This is tricky because I don't know if I'm actually getting insulted or I feel insulted. But when you're a mom, a first-time mom, you feel like everyone has something to say about the way you parent because it is your first kid. So I do feel like I do get insulted, but I don't know if that's just a defensive thing because I'm a defensive person when it comes to that kind of stuff. I think people are trying to give me constructive criticism and I take it as an insult and I'm like, oh, what are you trying to say? I'm a bad mom, you know? So I don't think I've been insulted, but I feel like I've been insulted. Even though I'm probably not, but I feel like it. Hands down, milk chocolate. Just chocolate in general. Chocolate. Chocolate. The word chocolate is like chocolate. 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 I used to play the clarinet, but I suck. I was like Squidward. If you ever watch Spongebob, um, you will know that Squidward is a horrible clarinet player and that was literally me in a nutshell. I literally used to pretend I was playing and just make the face and not even like actually blow into it. So I'd be like, you know, pretending when I was in band and then I just wouldn't really actually play because I didn't even like the clarinet. I picked the instrument clarinet thinking that it was a trumpet and then when I got it, I was like, what the heck is this? And they're like, it's a clarinet. I was like, but I thought it was a trumpet. Um, my favorite piece of jewelry is this necklace here. It's probably like my only really piece of jewelry um, because I lose them. That's why I really don't wear jewelry because I always take my jewelry off and I put it down somewhere and then it, it gets lost. Jewelry is like so easy to lose and break and that's why I just like, I only really wear this one. My sister gave this to me pretty recently. So this little guy, he's so cute. The last sport I probably played was football, and that's only because I really enjoy playing the game football. Like, it's a lot of fun, and I'm really good at it, and I like to win. So I like playing sports that people underestimate me at, and football is definitely one of them because I got a mean arm. I'm like a quarterback, and I can run. I will dive for that football. Like, I will legit risk breaking my face just to catch that ball. I take sports way too seriously. When I play them, I just don't like to lose. I'm one of those people that took gym class too seriously. The last song I sang was like this Beyonce song. And it was like, I think, Drunk in Love or something. I mean, I don't know. But I had her on my Pandora, and I think that's the one I was like. You know, I was like, don't, I'm not going to sing for you guys because no talent there. That is not somewhere I go. But... If I'm in the privacy of my own bathroom, I'm like, I go in, you know what I mean? But, yeah, Beyonce, probably. I don't have a chat-up line because I'm a girl, and we don't need them. They come to us. We don't go to them. Hello. Nope, because I don't have one, because I'm a girl. Does Sophie count? Because that's the only person I hang out with. 
Okay, so the next person I would like to tag is you guys. Um, if you haven't done this tag already, which I'm sure you probably have because everybody and their mother has done this tag, um, I tag you. So yeah, that's my TMI answer Q&A kind of thingy and that's a wrap. So I hope you guys like this video and hopefully you guys like me and if you don't, keep it to yourself because I'm a crier, remember? <laughs> cry. Be nice to me. I'm just saying. Love you guys uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!